Whenever I do a Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife survey, deep in the woods for the Maine Bird Atlas, I like to sleep in my survey block so that I can start mapping the breeding birds at daybreak. The whole state is divided up into nine square mile blocks. And volunteers are found out all over the state to go survey those blocks. Me? I happen to like the North Main Woods, so I walk logging roads. Maine is one of four states along the eastern seaboard of the United States doing surveys right now. They repeat every 20 to 30 years so you can track major changes over time. Birds are easy to watch, they're pretty, they sing so they tell you where they are. Each species likes its own habitat. So you can track changes in the environment or changes in the climate over time by finding out where the birds are and where they're not. Who knew how much noise a family of great crested flycatchers could make? I'm on the KI Road, Katahdin Ironworks Road, just past Katahdin Ironworks and Silver Lake. But before you get to Gulf Hagus, this is better known as Silver Lake Northwest. This isn't just a walk in the park. Think of it this way. Birding the North Main Woods is miles of birds. Up here you can expect the unexpected. Yesterday I had a three-legged bear. No, I'm serious. You know, I don't worry about bears in the North Woods. There's only one animal that really worries me. A mama moose. You know, the two birds I find often in the North Main Woods that I was not expecting? Indigo bunting. And black bill cuckoo. Merlins are no surprise. Broadwing hawk, not a surprise up here. A pair of American kestrels chasing off a red-tailed hawk, okay, yeah, that's a surprise. Another thing about the Maine Bird Atlas is that when you volunteer, it's total immersion. You start to learn tricks about how to identify and locate birds. You start to learn their secrets, even the ones they don't want to tell you about. Instead of seeing dozens of birds, you're seeing hundreds. Well, this is just about the end for this year's Breeding Bird Atlas. Uh, pretty soon all the birds will wander away and no longer be near their nesting sites. There's one more year to go in this five-year project. Meanwhile, you can check this one off. Silver Lake, Northwest, done.